He goes back. I now recognize the gentlelady from Washington, Ms. Jayapal. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Zuckerberg, in March of 2012, you suggested by email to your management team that moving faster and copying other apps could, quote, prevent our competitors from getting footholds. Sheryl Sandberg responded that, quote, it is better to do more and move faster, especially if that means you don't have competitors build products that take some of our users. Facebook's product manager, management director added that, quote, I would love to be far more aggressive and nimble in copying competitors. Has Facebook ever taken steps to prevent cop competitors from getting footholds by copying competitors? Uh, Congresswoman, I view it as our job to understand what people are finding valuable in all of the services that they use. And certainly if, if someone- Do you copy, do you copy your competitors? Congresswoman, we've certainly adapted features uh, that, that others have led in, as have others copied and, and adapted features that- I'm uh, not that concerned about been. others. I'm just asking you, Mr. Zuckerberg, since March of 2012, after that email conversation, how many competitors did Facebook end up copying? Uh, Congresswoman, I, I can't give you a, a, a number of, of companies- Is it less than five? Forgotten. Congresswoman, I don't know. Less I, than I, 50? I, any estimates? Your team was making a plan. How did it play out? Uh, Congresswoman, I'm, I'm not sure I, I agree with the, the premise here. Our job is to make sure that we build the best services for people to connect with all the people they care about. And a lot of that is done by innovating and by building new things Th that you. are leading Thank the work you. internally. Thank you, Mr. Zuckerberg. Let me go on. Uh, has Facebook ever threatened to clone the products of another company while also attempting to acquire that company? Congresswoman, not that I would, not that I recall. And, and I'd like to just remind you that you are under oath um, and there are quotes from Facebook's own documents. Um, prior to acquiring Instagram, Facebook began developing a similar product called Facebook Camera, correct? Congresswoman, that's correct. I, I've, I've said multiple times that we uh, were competing in the space of building mobile cameras with Instagram. That's what they did at the time. Um, their competitive set was companies like uh, what we were building with Facebook Camera and Visco Great. Cam and Pick Please. Thank, and, thank, uh, you, Mr. thank you, Mr. Zuckerberg. Um, did you ever use this very similar Facebook Camera product to threaten Instagram's founder, Kevin Seistrom? Congresswoman, I'm, I'm not sure what you would mean by threaten. I think it was public that we were building a, a camera app at the, at the time. Um, that was a well-documented thing. Let me tell you that, Mr. in a chat, you told Mr. Seistrom that Facebook was, quote, developing our own photo strategy, so how we engage now will also determine how much we're partners versus competitors down the line. Instagram's founder seemed to think that was a threat. He confided, confided in an investor at the time that he feared you would go, he would you, that you would go into quote destroy mode if he didn't sell Instagram to you. So let's just recap. Facebook cloned a popular product, approached the company you identified as a competitive threat, and told them that if they didn't let you buy them up, there would be consequences. Uh, were there any other companies that you uh, used the same tactic with while attempting to buy them? Congresswoman, I want to respectfully disagree with the characterization. I think it was it was clear that this was a space that we were going to uh, compete in one way or another. I don't view those conversations as a threat in any way. I, I, I just, I, I'm out. just using the documents and the testimony that the committee has collected from others. Did you warn Evan Spiegel, the founder of Snapchat, that Facebook was in the process of cloning the features of his company while also attempting to buy Snapchat? Congresswoman, I don't remember those specific conversations, but that was also an area where it was very clear that we were going to be building something. Um, it's it, People want to be able to communicate privately. They want to be able to communicate with all their friends at once. Uh, and we're uh, going to make sure that we build the best products in, in all of the spaces that uh, that we can around helping people stay connected with the people they care about. I appreciate that, Mr. Zuckerberg. I think the question again here is, when the dominant platform threatens its potential rivals, that should not be a normal business practice. Facebook is a case study, in my opinion, in monopoly power because your company harvests and monetizes our data, and then your company uses that data to spy on competitors and to copy, acquire, and kill rivals. 
you've used Facebook's power to threaten smaller competitors and to ensure that you always get your way. These tactics reinforce Facebook's dominance, which you then use in increasingly destructive ways. So Facebook's very model makes it impossible for new companies to flourish separately, and that harms our democracy, it ha harms mom and pop businesses, and it harms consumers. Mr. Chairman, I yield back.